Okay, start all over. Okay. All right, we have just pulled this rear axle out of a donor car. This is a 1972 280 SE 4.5. It has a gear ratio we want for this application, and it's uh, fairly easy to convert. Uh, first of all, we're going to examine the axle. Well, first of all, we're going to steam clean the axle, and then examine it and see what uh, parts it needs before we go ahead and put it in the SL. Um, already apparent right here, you don't even have to clean it to see it, is the, the bushings right here are dried out right there. They would have to go. The the front end bushings on the trailing arm are easy to replace and we put new ones in there. And then of course the boot here, the boot on the flex, um, this one is okay as it looks and you're still going to clean it up, but it makes sense to replace them now since you have to take the axle out and separate the axle at the hinge point in order to replace one. It makes no sense at all not to do it when you have the axle already on the ground. The, the spring on this one, we will use the spring out of the 280 SL since the spring is there to offset the weight of the car. And the 108 might not be the same as the 113, so we'll go with the 113 or spring to be safe. The right height in the car, yeah. The axle's pretty good. I did the uh, the test before, and there isn't too much play in it. I think I have to, um, when I got the boot apart, I might have a chance to take a look at the inside and the carrier, too, and see if the if the pins are good in there. But so far, all indications is there isn't any, pl any play in the axle, or very minor. We'll have to go right here. This vent tube uh, to go into the 113 chassis will have to be removed. And um, further on that later as we get into it, more detail. So, and these things right here, there's various rubber donuts on here that keep the grease in. I think there's one missing right there already. But we can get those, and as we pull the pin out, we will put new seals in there and we'll put it back together again. I'll show it to me again. Okay, this right here. See the pin? There's a oh yeah. There's a whoa. We've got a also a problem. Oh yeah. Look at that. We've, that one has to be done too. There's a play in that bushing right there. Uh, the brakes. I don't know yet. The brakes. We're just gonna. We can. We can change the rotors, but there's no wear on them. They're just rusty. We can clean them up. Probably put new pads on there. And then we have to, of course, make sure that the uh, the brake line right here is new. And we'll replace the other brake line if necessary. So, then the e-brake cables will have to be also changed over to the 113 or chassis cables. So, um, we'll go ahead and clean this thing up and see what else it needs, but uh, it's on its way uh, towards the SL.